So early workout accomplished. Now today I'm having two workouts because yesterday I actually gave myself a day off. I went and just went shopping just for myself. Stuff like that. So I decided not to exercise this way. Today I'll be able to squeeze in two hardcore exercises. So um, just a little about this machine right here. It's a Bowflex Max Trainer is what it is. M5. Have you guys heard of interval training? Well, interval training is like the hype right now. It's what gets you the results in a shorter amount of time. It's recommended by many fitness trainers and doctors, including Mercola. So, I just wanted to say that basically you go as hard as you can for this machine goes for 24 seconds and then it drops down for like a minute and 20 seconds I think drops down where you are supposed to be resting dropping your heart rate down and afterwards you go as hard as you can again um, for 24 seconds so it's like a 14 minute workout but it really like gets you sweating like not kidding so as you can probably see I'm like a sweaty mess and I can't wait to go to the shower but I just love this machine. It's not an elliptical, but it's a cross between an elliptical uh, stair climber. There you go, a stair climber. So it's really, really cool. It's harder than an elliptical. Um, so yeah, it really gives you a workout. I've had this machine for almost four weeks. Let me sit down amongst this beautiful laundry to fold today. Oh God. Stretching, ooh. So, I just wanted to show you guys the machine because some of you have asked what it is. I am happy with it. I really am. It's expensive, honestly. I see results four weeks in. The results should have been maybe more, but considering that I haven't actually been doing official exercise in a long time, and I finally, after Aviv's birth, it took me almost two years to finally feel like, and the right machine, okay? the right machine if I had an elliptical or a treadmill this wouldn't happen this machine and I don't like aerobic exercises I can't follow along I just it doesn't work with my brain this machine is definitely it so if you find something you really really like just do it you don't need this particular machine to get results but for me this machine is what actually worked and another awesome thing about this is that there's an app for this machine and it keeps track of every single exercise you do. I'm competitive with myself. I don't like to compete against others. Um, it makes me weak. But if I'm competing against myself, it makes me strong because I know what I was able to do. Now let's see what I can do this time. Every week, my intensity level on the machine is set higher because I want to, because I feel ready. Um, I go faster, my burn per minute is, is higher. So it's really exciting. I see how many minutes I exercised uh, last week, this week, how many calories I burned last week, this week, just all the stuff, the heart rate and stuff. Like I'm hooked, I am seriously hooked. I love this machine, perfect for me. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to guys tell you a little bit about it because there were questions and I just thought I'd put it in a video so you guys can just watch it. All right. Everyone, I am gonna go jump in the shower and get myself ready for the day. I have a lot of things to do, so I'm gonna go before my eyes shut down and I'm gonna fall asleep. Cooking today is breakfast. Look who else is awake. <laughs> yeah. Here we have toast with homemade mayo. And I'm gonna lay some of these mushrooms on the bottom. I cooked the mushrooms on coconut oil, but the eggs, I added a little bit of butter um, to cook it just eggs on butter because they, for some odd reason, they get stuck to the pan on coconut oil. It's strange. And here come the eggies. Okay, I am seriously hungry today. I think Aviv smelled my breakfast because he is waking up as we speak. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I thought I was gonna eat and edit and stuff like that. Oh, there he goes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. 
I love you, Bieber. Ooh, Ooh you're gonna play with some Legos. Yes, you are. Oh, baby, you're so cute. So sweet. Hi. Is that so exciting? of a train. <laughs> That's a fence with flowers. Ooh. Alrighty. So it is borscht time. I just sliced up a bunch of onions and carrots that I'm gonna add over here in just a minute. So... Um, we need a little coconut oil for that. Here's my big tub of coconut oil. All right, so now that we've got um, onions and carrots sauteing, we're gonna be um, slicing or chopping up our celery. What is Joey gonna draw today? Yeah. Oh yes, we need a skyscraper, absolutely. This does not look like Uh-oh, but it's a marker, so we can't really erase it. And that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Really How about we make it into a mountain? And it has waterfall. It looks like a big rock. Look, this can be a rock, and you can make a waterfall come down. There you go, nice straight lines, good job. See, that was great. So Joey is gonna be coloring and drawing and coloring a bunch of cool stuff. Where's my little trouble? Ah, there it is, cute little yeah, trouble. Okay, we are cooking, cooking away. So we've got everything here, the carrot, the onion, and the celery, and this is good. Um, I need to get some water and broth. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <clears throat> yes, he was just spinning like crazy. Are you eating some popcorn? Back in the kitchen. So here's water, here's some frozen broth. Making broth is like one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen. Seriously, and I love having some broth in the freezer and I'm running out, so. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be cooking drumsticks today, so I will take those bones and I will put them in the freezer. Gabe, no, you can't have two kinds of popcorn. That's crazy. You, you were just eating that one. No, you need to be hungry for soup because I'm gonna I'm cooking soup. That's our lunch. I'm not hungry. I'm hungry. Well, sure. go snack on that one then, <laughs> or go eat some of the delicious sweet sweet banana. Come on, Gabe. No, no popcorn. You were just eating that popcorn already, like throughout the whole morning. As I was saying, I love making broth. That's all. Hi, you have such a beautiful smile. Hello. A baby. Oh, you wanna spin, okay. Spin, spin. Let's go diaper change and then baby. Oh, gosh. So we're gonna do a diaper change and then I'm gonna put him down for a nap and then I will continue with the soup. So the broth is just gonna have to just sit there and wait for me. Hi, Joey, sweetie. Hi. You wanna help mama cook today? Isn't that what you said? You wanna watch me cook? <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. Who is that munching on popcorn? Hmm? Aviv is napping. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, so we've got some beets and we've got this, um, basically the base for the soup that is about to boil. We need to add a lot more water in here. So beautiful and red now. Mm. Okay, I chopped up the meat that we cooked. Somebody that's already eating it. <laughs> nice, Gabe. I'll leave you some. Don't okay. Take all of it. Okay, I won't. A long take time ago, I was. I wanted to eat more. I went to the, uh, our bedroom. 
And then, then I keep back in the YouTube order of Mastery. Oh, uh, I didn't know that you wanted more, but I'll leave you here. How about that? Is that enough for you? So after the meat, I'm going to be peeling the rest of the potatoes, chopping them. All right, so our soup is almost done. I'm pretty sure the potatoes are getting nice and soft and I just uh, sliced up some cabbage here. Here is my tomato paste I'm gonna be using today. I love tomato paste for some reason. Um, I think it adds a little bit more dimension to the soup uh, versus the tomato sauce. Okay, I'm going to thin the tomato paste here in a pan so we can easily dissolve it in the soup. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit of a rush right now because I believe could any moment just wake up. So we got some fresh garlic here that we're gonna add to soup. And then we're gonna start adding some... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add some pepper. Some black ground pepper. And then we're also gonna add some dill. Frozen dill. The soup is intoxicating. <laughs> It's so good. It's like, oh, like, I don't know, it makes me like, I don't know. I don't know why. Endorphins, I suppose. It, the smell is just fabulous. The the garlic and the dill is what just like gives this soup like 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 a big boom. <laughs> so I it's really good. I just uh, checked the salt and it's um, I had to add a little bit, so this is really good right now. Here is Joey's coloring job today. <laughs> So cute. Hey guys, I just wanted to show this yogurt to you. This is so delicious. If you guys have like Whole Foods or New Seasons around or some other health food store, check them out. See if they have this Bulgarian yogurt. It is unbelievably good. They only come in plain. And this is whole milk, but they also have low fat or non fat, I think. So this is so delicious. It doesn't have the same texture as other yogurts and this reminds me of homemade yogurt i used to buy raw milk from a girl i actually used to go to school with her but they had a jersey cow so i used to buy raw milk from her so delicious i mean raw milk is like something else it's amazingly delicious so i used to make my own like raw yogurt eating this reminds me of that like homemade yogurt i used to eat it is so, so good. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I'm gonna feed him some borscht. Don't yell. Don't yell. Yeah. More soup? Mm. The soup is so good. Have you guys ever been to pho? I should say, have you guys ever been out to eat some pho? Uh, it's a Vietnamese soup. It is so good. So these two soups, they're very, very different. But what I wanted to say is that they're both so like intoxicating. So like the, just the flavor is just there and it's, it's a big flavor, so. Oh, oh. What is the matter with you? He doesn't like my hair. Very cool. You know, this is not a chess look. Look, she has an empty bucket look. Hi, cutie. Oh, sorry, my camera's in your way, huh? Why is your lips so purple? Why are your lips purple? Anyways, frozen blueberries is why. I know, it totally stained. His hands were purple. His lips were like blue. Not blue, like really, really purple blue. So three hours later, here I am. We're gonna be cooking dinner tonight. Okay. 
Let's empty the oven first. We are gonna turn on our oven to 360 degrees. We're gonna be making drumsticks. I've got some drumsticks here. Look at the price. Isn't that like a free dinner? Yes, consider this free. And with the potatoes, that's probably another dollar. And with the salad, probably another dollar. That's like five bucks. Well, maybe electricity and some spices. Six bucks. Seven bucks, maybe, to feed a whole family delicious food. Really delicious food. I'm gonna start prepping this stuff, and I gotta charge this battery because this camera is gonna die on me, and we can't have that happening, can we? All right, fellas. Um, so here is my chicken. These chicken tenderloins are for the boys because they don't like the drumsticks. So I do drumsticks, and then I put in the middle. I put the tenderloins, and if you can tell, there's water on the bottom. That is so the chicken stays nice and juicy, doesn't dry out. And it also creates like a gravy base. I just use that liquid to pour over like the mashed potatoes or the potatoes or rice or whatever. It's so good. The only seasoning is salt and pepper. That's all you need, really. It's simple yet classic. So it doesn't need anything. But if you like something, go ahead and do add by all means. So I'm just gonna cover it with a foil and put it in the oven. An hour and 20 minutes in the oven. I'm gonna get those little baby potatoes ready in a pot with water because this way when the time is right and I have to turn it on, it'll all be ready for me. So work once and then just whatever, keep working. <laughs> Not be a baby. Are you organizing my bottles? Don't you love to do that? Gosh, every kid went through this. My kids, I should say. All of my kids went through that. My baby. That bottle is still sealed, so it won't spill. It's okay. But some other bottles, like this vinegar, that he can totally open and spill. Hi, Vivi. I love you. Have I ever told you guys that he does not say mama? He refuses to say mama. He says, shh, when I say, ma say mama. He's like, shh, shh. <laughs> Crazy, huh? We're gonna make some Caesar salad. I just made bread for croutons. I buttered and I put garlic, rubbed garlic all over. I don't know what has what's wrong with me, but my gal butter is like, mm, not happy right now. If you've watched me long enough, then you probably know that I was doing gallbladder cleanses. I am way overdue for another one. And my gall gallbladder is basically letting me know that I need to do a cleanse. I need to start preparing for maybe even starting tomorrow. I gotta get my, there it is, this malic acid. I gotta take that, like like it says, like half a teaspoon or one teaspoon, I forgot, I think it's one teaspoon, with like a liter of water. Just do that daily, drink as much as you want between meals on an empty stomach, and you do that for five days, and on day number six, that's when I can do my cleanse, and I really need to do it because I've had this galvara thing happen a few times. Basically, my tummy feels really bloaty right now. I can tell that my galvara is like maybe Hmm, kind of like the bile is backed up and it has difficulty going through. Those cleanses are fabulous. So anyways, I need to do another one. I am very disappointed that I probably won't work out today. So, this is not the way I like to have my week go. But you know what? Every day is different, so you can't push yourself the same way you do there's like a stumble block if you can just hop over it do it but if you can't if it's one of those things like this a gal but i'm not gonna if i get on the machine right now i'm probably gonna hurt myself plus i don't even have any time i have like 10 minutes on the chicken and then i have to broil it so i just have time to create dinner so it's just not working out you know what caused this gal butter pain today is um I was eating that caramel popcorn that you saw kids eat earlier today. Yeah, that's it. That's the popcorn. I, I did not feel right uh, nibbling on it yesterday. I also felt heavy and I ate it again. Salad. Here's some Caesar dressing. Is that what it's called? Caesar dressing? 
Yeah, Romano Caesar dressing. Look at that. Salad. 